Well, Travis, we knew Trent Solzma was good, but I don't think anyone expected this. He was 19 of 19 in the first half for 327 yards and five touchdowns to five different receivers. Number one, Heelan taking on number four, Clear Lake. First quarter, we're scoreless. It's not Solzma here, but Tony Tobin gets Heelan on the board, makes it seven to nothing with the one yard touchdown run. Later, Solzma gets started. This one goes to Tucker Spears, gets a nice block on the outside here, and he is gone. 65 yards to the house, 14 to three, Bishop Heelan up on top. Here's the big one though, Solzma to Philip Jacobson. 83 yards, check out this crackback block by Connor Niles to free him up, and you're not gonna catch Philip Jacobson. Later, Solzma rolls out, gets in trouble, throws it up to Jacobson. Jacobson can't hold on, but Brett Buckman is Johnny on the spot. Take another look at this concentration by Buckman and he's falling to the turf. He makes the great highlight reel catch, and Crusaders are rolling. Then Solzma throws the slant to an old reliable Connor Niles. That's like taking candy from a baby. That's 34 to six. The Crusaders defense was clicking too. Tyler Cropley steps in front of this pass and he's gonna rumble down the sideline. The quarterback finally gets an angle on him and drags him down just outside the 10. This was just seconds to spare before halftime. Then Solzma, why not reward the defender? Cropley makes the catch. He only wins 48 to 13. It's definitely nice getting the ball to some different receivers. Uh, we saw some things that they did on film, and I felt like we did a nice job executing. He's been that way all year, and uh, I don't say that in a in in a cocky way. It's just uh, he's been doing that all season and that. And you know, uh, once he once he gets in a rhythm, and uh, like I said, when him and the wide receivers are on the same page, and uh, we can uh, protect him, I mean, he's going to be efficient back there. Coach talks about when we uh, we get down to the state tournament that we really have to prove ourselves in the eastern side of the state. And I feel like we really did that tonight, sent it a message. At the Unidome in Cedar Falls, Chris Palmquist, ABC 9 News Sports.